Welcome back to Trans Guy Reacts. My name is Nick, and I make videos about women's basketball, uh, collegiate or professional. And today I'm talking about the games for the WNBA for Saturday, June 29th. Uh, there are two games on today, but before I get into that, I do want to talk about the transactions that have happened in the last couple of days. The most recent ones were uh, uh, yesterday on Friday, uh, Kaiser Gondrzic, uh was waived from the Chicago Sky, which I was quite surprised by. Not surprised because she do doesn't get any minutes, but surprised that... They waived her when they literally put her in the last game, and she was in for like three minutes and hit a three immediately. So I'm like, they never even gave her a chance, so it's kind of annoying that she's been waived. And she's been waived for quite a few t teams, and I feel like they just never give her a chance to shine. She's a shooter, um, maybe doesn't have the defense, but she's definitely a shooter. And Hopefully, once we expand the league, she will find a team. Uh, the other uh, note uh, yesterday was Jack Jakia Brown-Turner was signed to a rest of the season hardship contract by the Washington Mystics. And today there was a shocking wave of Queen Egbo from the Los Angeles Sparks. Queen Egbo was literally signed on Saturday, June 22nd to a rest of the season hardship contract. So I don't understand how you're gonna sign someone to the rest of the season co contract a week ago and then waive them. With it, like nothing's, nothing, you, can't, you can't really judge someone on a week. They've had like two games, like I don't, it's crazy. So. Uh, Queen Egbo has been waived, unfortunate, but that's that's the way that the W goes. There's just not enough roster spots. Uh, but getting to the games today, there was an early game at 12 o'clock for the Las Vegas Aces against the Washington Mystics. Washington Mystics were at home, it was a full crowd, uh, but unfortunately uh, the Aces prevailed 88-77. to And actually I watched that game and uh, Washington Mystics were in control the entire game until the end of the third quarter. They started slipping and then in the fourth quarter the Vegas took over and it was a decisive win towards the last like five minutes of the game. They they weren't the Mystics were not coming back, so it was just unfortunate. Uh, Maisha Hines Allen had uh, 14 points. Ste Stephanie Dolson was killing it. She had 23 points, seven rebounds. Uh, Ariel Atkins had 13 points. Um, and Julie Van Lu had eight points, and Aaliyah Edwards had nine points. Aaliyah Edwards, uh, oh, and seven rebounds. Aaliyah Edwards is back. She had a little injury, and now she's back and uh, putting up some good, decent minutes for coming back from an injury. I think she had a back injury. Uh, for the Aces, Jackie Young had 26 points. Uh, Asia Wilson had a very quiet night. She only had 11 points, nine rebounds. Um, they really, she didn't score. I don't think she even scored any points in the first half. She might have scored, like, one free throw, but she they really shut her down. Um, I don't know if she's tired or what, but... 11 points isn't bad for most pe most players, but it's really low for her because she usually scores like 30 points a game. So a kind of quiet night for her. Chelsea Gray had 22 points. The point God was putting on a show. Uh, Tiffany Hayes had 17 points. So just a really good outing uh, for, for the Vegas Aces. It was slow, slow game, slow start. Didn't like some of the foul calls. I didn't, I didn't think they were good. But um, yeah, they were able to pull it out, so that's fine. All right, now going to the game that just ended uh, was Dallas Wings versus Seattle Storm, and I came into the game very, very late. I came in literally one minute left in the game, but I was like, oh, this game's over. Uh, it was in Storm won 97 to 76. The entire bench was out on the floor at that point. At that point in the game, uh, and it, it looks like um, it was a decisive win for the Storm. Uh, Natasha Howard had twelve point seven rebounds. Tierra McCowan had fifteen point six rebounds. Arike Gumbawale had twenty four points, as she always does. Um, but the Odyssey Sims had seven points. It just was not enough against uh, the Storm. Uh, Jordan Horson had a fantastic night. She had her first double double of her career, 12 points, 11 rebounds. She had a great night. Neko Wumake had 16 points. Ezzy Magnavore had 13 points. Jewel Lloyd had 30 points. Jewel's back. Uh, and Skylar Diggins-Smith had 11 points. So just a really solid uh, contribution from everyone on the floor. Um, but yeah, uh, nothing much to say about that. It was, it was a pretty decisive win. And I guess this is a long stretch for Seattle Storm to be playing at home. And I think they had like nine games at home right now, and they won their first three. So they're, they're looking fantastic. But yeah, uh, that is today's games. Pretty short and sweet. Um, if you like this kind of coverage, these games recaps, please like, share, and subscribe. And as I always say, I do not have my comment section on because I don't care what random strangers on the internet think about me. But I do care that you're here. And if you're here every day, I care about you and you are awesome and I appreciate you. So thanks. I will see you in the next one later.